Welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final challenge within the sheet metal tutorials. If you haven't seen any of the other tutorials, please check the link as you can see at the top of the screen. So what we're going to have a go at today is we're going to create a sheet metal cone within Fusion 360. So if we jump over to Fusion, so on the screen I've got this cone shape. So if I come to the flat pattern, okay, you can see sort of the net of the design. So what I've done before when I was doing the bull design, I've created a net and then I have essentially bent the metal into shape. Now I can't do that in terms of a cone shape. So what I'm going to do is create the cone beforehand in sort of a 3D shape instead of then flatten it. So we go back in time and have a look at the sketch. I've got a sketch here that is 55 by 80 by 20 there. So I'm going to click on sketch. I'm going to click on that work plane there, so the back work plane. I'm going to draw a line here. And I'm also going to do a line to the center and turn that to construction. Just makes it easier for this to stick to here to the center or the origin, dimension that 55, dimension that to be, if it gives you 20, we'll check in a second. And I'm gonna go for top and bottom this time. I'm gonna go 80. So yeah, so we've got that. So happy day, so let's save that. And let's go up to here, and let's have a look what I did next. So if I turn the sketch on, what I did next, from that line, I've created a flange. And if we have a look, I've clicked on that line there, and I created a flange that's 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 millimeters, one-sided, single direction. So we're going to go up to sheet metal. We're going to go up to flange. Okay, so 0 0.01, one-sided, and I'm going to click OK like that. So I've got this flange now. So next little thing we're going to do, if we turn on bodies, is use that flange to create a revolve, but we're going to use revolve that uses a surface. So we may have not covered this before in a video, but we're going to do this. So let's go back to here, surface, revolve, I want to revolve that surface there. The axis is going to be the green one. And I'm going to go 360 on that. So let me just check. And we go into here. Okay. What I did is I left a tiny gap. So a tiny gap just between there of a degree, which is going to be important to allow it to unfold. So I've Revolve that 359 degrees, so there's a one degree gap. Okay, so we've done that, and the next bit, if we have a look what I did next, is I've come along and I've used the thicken tool and I've added a thickness on the inside of two millimeters and I've clicked join. So we're going to go up to solid, we're going to go to thicken. To set this, we're going to go minus two. Okay, to go inside, and you've got new body. Oh, we're actually going to click join. I suppose click OK. That's fine. So what we've got at the moment is these two here. So we've got the sheet metal part, and we've got this body part. Okay. So what I did next is I've unfolded it. So I've got to unfold, so let's try that. So this is where we need to see if we can actually unfold it. So if we go up to, okay, unfold. Helps if I click on the right uh, option, doesn't it? So if I click on unfold at the top here, so it's a modify, it's a modifying something, and stationary entity. So if we zoom it straight in, what can we set as our Stationary entity, can we slice this edge? It's been a bit funny, but come on, let me grab this edge here. Okay, 
bend that green face. And what that's done is it's taken the bend, which is the inside sort of face, and it flattened it like so. And select fusing catch up, and we'll just hide those roots, not that, just hide the actual cone there, which I use as a surface. So I've got this net now, which is good. So same as here, I've got this net. And again, I'm just going to hide that body there. What I did next is quite straightforward now, is I've created a sketch. Let's go into here and have a look. And of course, this could be any sort of shape you want it to be, but I've done a slot. And we've got 15 by 15 there, and we've got 15 there. So see if we can reproduce that. So click on that surface, and sort of click sketch. And we're going to go up to slots. And you've got different options when you're clicking on slots, OK? But we go for one like this. Let's just check the dimensions. So 15 by 15. So 15. By 15. And then what have we got at the bottom? So it's 15 up with a radius of 4. So from that point to that point. And then a radius of four. Okay, so I've got my sketch there now. And then what I did next, if I just save that, okay, like normally, if I want to remove material and create a hole or a feature like that, I've just gone to extrude. So if I go up to solid and extrude and select that, and you could drag it right through, you can go. If we click on this one, sorry, you could go up to object, click back surface, or I can even click on that point there, or even type minus two. So we're going to do a cut. And if we zoom out, we have got this. If we zoom out and you actually use the pan tool, it would be helpful. Okay, we've got this slot. Okay, there. And what we're going to do now is create a pattern up here. And what I did to create that pattern is I'll just use the circular pattern if we go into this. Let's have a look. And zoom out. So I've done an angle of 120 degrees and I've done nine quantities, so nine slots. So 120 degrees, nine. So let's have a look at that. So if we go up to create pattern circular, what do I want to pattern? It's the cut, so the extruded cut. The axis is going to be this here, so it's going to be the center of that. I wanted it to be angle, okay, 120 degrees. And I think I said six or seven. My memory is like a sieve. Let's uh, go back and have a look. So, what did I say? No, I didn't say that. I said nine. Of course, you can change it, whatever you want. So, if I go back in, Right click and say nine. I wanted not seven. I wanted nine of those. If you want to, and we've talked about using patterns before, and if you haven't seen that video, check it out. You can untick these if you wanted to miss certain instances. But I do want to include those. Click OK. And I've created those features within the design. So then if we come back here, the last thing we need to do is then just unfold it and it will go back to that 3D shape. So if we go up here, we go back to sheet metal, we want to refold, okay, or unfold it again, go refold. And like magic, we've got the design there. And we can test this out by just going up to Let's have a look if I could select the right option again. It is create a flat pattern. So stationary face, zoom in, click OK. And I've just selected the back edge there and it creates this flat pattern. And what I can do again is I could go up to export, save that as a DXF, and then you know laser cut it if I was gonna bend this out and say some acrylic or something like that. 
or if I wanted to, I could, you know, export it and uh, use it as a net as, uh, to draw around or anything like that, and then manufacture it. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.